Well, we are watching for the potential of severe weather tonight and tomorrow. It's this system that is to our west. Take a look here as it's moving off to the east. That line of strong storms that will bring us the risk of severe weather. But ahead of it, we could also see severe isolated thunderstorms pop up. So with that line, as it moves off to the east and moves across northern Louisiana, it will bring the risk of severe weather. But our area is also highlighted, and that's because overnight tonight we could see these individual thunderstorms storms develop and those thunderstorms could produce tornadoes, damaging wind or some hail as well. So again, this line here, it will continue to move east throughout the day today and well into our overnight hours. It will come towards us tomorrow morning, but as that line does so, we could see the potential for a few of these thunderstorms to develop. So throughout the day today, I think we stay mostly dry. Then this evening, we will start to turn our attention to the development of some thunderstorms. Notice here tonight, we could see these thunderstorms develop. These could become supercells. Those are the ones that could produce tornadoes. Notice that most of our area is dry, but it just takes that individual thunderstorm to potentially produce severe weather. Same story here. So we have to watch out for these isolated thunderstorms overnight tonight that could produce that. This is around 3, 4 a.m. Again, timing is subject to change, but in these overnight hours into tomorrow morning, we could see those severe isolated thunderstorms. Then we head into our Wednesday. Wednesday morning, Morning. Same story. We're still watching out for isolated severe thunderstorms. And then in the afternoon, that line will arrive. Look at how this is a broken line of thunderstorms. That means that these could rotate. We could see tornadoes out of this. Of course, the damaging wind, the hail, and it will only slowly move across our area through the afternoon hours and the evening hours, and that will create a flooding risk. Notice this is five o'clock rush hour Wednesday evening, unfortunately dealing with severe weather possible strong storms out there. So please be careful throughout the day tomorrow while you are on the roads, especially in the evening, though. These storms likely won't clear until Wednesday night. So we are under a level three enhanced risk of severe weather tomorrow. That's a three out of five. And let's break down these impacts. So one, when it comes to the flood threat, well, we are under a flood wa watch starting at midnight tonight, and that goes all the way until nine o'clock tomorrow evening because the system so slowly moves through our area. We could see one to three inches of rain, but locally higher amounts are possible. So if you are in an area that floods easy, Please think about maybe moving your car to higher ground. Think about the possibility of flooding. When it comes to tornadoes, we are under a hatched risk from the Storm Prediction Center. This means that strong tornadoes are possible. EF2s to EF5s, the strongest type of tornado. We have a 10% probability of those tornadoes, those stronger tornadoes, popping up within a 25 within 25 miles of any point here in this yellow area. We also have the risk of damaging wind gusts. That's winds 58 miles an hour or stronger. We have a 30% probability of that over our area. So with these strong damaging winds that can cause damage to roofs, to fences, it can knock out power by knocking down our damaging power lines. Also, if you have outdoor lightweight furniture, trash cans, Christmas decorations, you'll want to get those secured as well because we don't want those to become projectiles if we do have the strong damaging wind or a tornado. We also have the risk of hail. There is a 5% probability of one inch or larger in diameter when it comes to hail. So large hail also a possibility tomorrow. So tonight it is an impact night for the risk of severe weather. That's a 30% chance of storms though. And then tomorrow it is a WDSU weather alert day. Please have multiple reliable ways of receiving weather alerts that can be through the WDSU app, alerts through your phone, weather radio. Please stay informed. We will keep you updated here in the newscast, online, and on social media.